Hi guys, welcome to Cake and It Special. I'm Lauren and this week I wanted to do something autumn-y. So I made a tree trunk cake. So here we go. For this cake I have three six inch chocolate cakes that I'm going to stack using chocolate buttercream. When I leveled my cakes, I made sure to keep the lids because I will be needing them. So once my cakes are stacked, I give the whole thing a crumb coat. Now I take the lids from the cakes and I break them up into a bowl and add a little bit of chocolate buttercream to make like a cake pop dough, which I can then use to mould it into some roots around the base of the cake. Now this is where I usually say and then I give the whole thing another layer of buttercream, but I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to do things a bit differently. The cake will be covered in fondant in separate pieces, so I'll add the buttercream as I go. I dye some fondant in a very pale brown and lay it on top of the cake. I just want this to cover the very top so I use my knife to cut away the excess around the sides. And now I can add the details. I use my knife to cut in tiny wedges and scrapes. I also use a couple of different sculpting tools to draw in the rings. I keep going until I feel like there's enough on there and then I move on to the bark. So I've dyed some fondant in a dark brown for this. I'm going to start with a rectangle and I will stick it to the side of the cake. I use my knife to cut it to size and then I take a couple of sculpting tools and score in the bark effect. I like to start with the knots in the wood and then work around them. I make sure to push my tools in quite hard for this to get the effect that I'm after. And then I keep working my way around the cake doing the same thing. Don't worry if you need to patch any areas, the good thing about this cake is that you can build it into the design. When I'm happy, I move on to some rainbow dust, making sure to pay extra attention to the lines we've carved in at the top and around the edges. And when that's done, I wanted to make some leaves and stuff to make it a bit more of a scene. So I take a couple of leaf cutters and some very pale brown fondant that I've added Tylos powder to and make loads of leaves. I thin out the edges with a balling tool and I also try to curl them so they've got a little bit of more natural movement to them. And while I'm giving these time to dry, I make some mushrooms. When I'm happy, I give them all a dust with some autumn colours. So I'm using a peach, a yellow, a brown and a green. And now I can put it all together. I 
And for the final touch, I have some cocoa powder that is used for the top of hot chocolate. So I sprinkle it all around the board. And there it is. I quite like it. It's very autumn-y. So that's it for this week, guys. I really hope you liked it. And if you haven't already, please do go ahead and subscribe to this channel. It helps me out a lot. And I will see you next Wednesday. Thanks, guys. Bye.